<laughs> this is the Schmo with the pro, with the up and comer, the UFC light heavyweight Jamal Hill in the flesh. Just wait in UFC Vegas 16. How we doing? You doing good, man. We feeling good. Ready to get it on. The Schmo signed the petition. The paperwork is filled out. Welcome back to Sweet Dreams Stadium. Feels good to be home. Feels good to be home. Yes, now talk to me for a second. OSP, he didn't weigh in. A pound and a half over, 207.5. How does it make you feel when your opponent doesn't make weight when you did the work and you made weight? Pay me. Pay me and then come get this ass whooping. Yes, take a little extra money, get a little fight night bonus on the side. Sound like a good night to me. What about you? Yeah, the schmo can't complain, but how does it make you feel when they mispronounce the name? They call you Jamahal and not Jamal. They got a lot of mispronunciations. I mean, but it is what it is. I know I got a, my name isn't spelled regularly. So, yeah. So, anybody out there, it's Jamal. It's just Jamal. Yeah. You know what? Eh? The, sh the Schmo's got a bone to pick. They do the EPO testing, the drug testing. They barely do it. It's a little random, but they're always testing for marijuana. The NBA today, they just came out and they said that for the 2020-2021 season, they're not going to be testing for marijuana like they normally do randomly. What's up with this, man? And I don't know. I guess apparently the uh, NBA is getting with the times, and uh, we may be a little bit behind, but we definitely need to catch up because uh, that shit is not necessary. What do you make at the top of the division? You got a middleweight coming up into your division fighting for the gold strap, potentially, allegedly, they say, man. Is it wide open? When you look at the road ahead, the sparks light up? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I'm here uh, I'm here living my dream. You know, I've been waiting to get here for a long time, and now that I'm here, I'm ready to let people know what it is, you know, period. I'm here to dominate, take over, and everything. So let's get it home, man. Let's go back about a decade ago, maybe half a decade ago. What was the life like for you on the grind from 2010 through 2015? I've been up and down, you know. Um, a lot of people don't know I've been doing mixed martial arts since 2010, and uh, I've had my times where it's, I've been away from the sport, you know, things that gave me uh, family responsibilities. I have kids and things like that, you know, and then it was always the, all right, maybe I need to go and play it in a safer direction with a regular job and things like that. But um, I got tired of that. So, you know, I decided to pursue my dream and, and here I am. I put the work in and now I'm here. Sweet dreams. Can we get a final message for the sweet dreams fans out there worldwide? Uh, sweet dreams nation. You know, I appreciate y'all. You know, I love y'all. Uh, keep supporting me. Y'all know what I bring to people that's really been following me. You know, we're going to keep doing what we do. We're going to keep lighting this month up. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. UFC Vegas 16. We're out.